with another uh, Creative Vision or Dick Smith Wizard video. Um, one of my friends recently um, found a Creative Vision unit and um, brought it over to test with my power supply. So I thought I'd record a few gameplays on the equipment at the same time. So this is my. Um, <coughs> I'm just going to go through each of the games. Um, uh, when he brought it with me, he uh, he had a, a game that I didn't have, so that's what we tried out in that video. But this one. This is the first game I played on the Creative Vision, and back in the day, um, you know, the Space Invaders game on the console is what attracted you to it. So I'm using, sorry, I can't control it. The cables are quite short. I'm using the original controller. I had to switch his controller with mine, because he's going to go up. Yeah, you've got to, to start a game, you've got to reset the console, um, and then press 2. So it's interesting, it's got quite a purple hue, I have adjusted it a little bit on the capture. And I'm only using RF to capture, so, so it captures the perfect. As you can see it's got quite loud sound effects and things, and um, pretty good music. Back in the day, this is a perfectly acceptable version of Space Invaders. We have the invaders. Um, they've introduced you know, having a few different shaped invaders, and you've got the bases to protect you. And, um, color use going on. Space Invaders was a big thing back in the day, and anything that had Space Invaders in it. Now, at the time when I first saw this console, I would have had my TI-99-4 and have had TI Invaders. So that's what I would have been comparing this to. Plus, of course, Space Invaders on the Atari 2600. So each of the games do have a few difficulty levels you can set, and then usually you can play them one and two player. There we go, clear the frame. <coughs> so, so it's not too challenging so far. Generally I find the Creative Vision games are not bad little, you know, ports. Uh, you know, heavily inspired by arcade games. Uh, but they can be a little easy. So last for a few rounds here. Have to go for another check. So I said, nice shooting sounds and everything like that. One thing they probably could have done was given us a bit of, you know, a background do, 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 marching. And you can see part of the cityscape disappeared there because the animation of the of the enemy is taking up tiles in the background. And with sprites. They definitely shoot lots. Now I'm not 100 sure whether that has actually started any lower. was basically a creative vision with a sticker over it. So, clear to cut frames. Right, they're definitely not starting any lower. Right, that's really getting any 
reminder. So just to check, I'm going to do a reset again. All right, if you press the fire button when you first reset, it goes through. So it's one and two players. So that's two players as well. Right, so maybe five, nine. So there might be a few levels of difficulty. Let's try this. See if it's any faster. Oh, hey, hang on, that's cheating. It disappeared. Okay, yeah. All invisible enemies. Harsh. Well, that's good, at least it has some other modes. Not really any faster though. Oh, it remembers what mode you're up to, which is interesting. So the reset obviously doesn't reset everything. We'll just go for that first level of difficulty. I don't have the manual here, so... <clears throat> Look, no, we've definitely got the um, this enemies at this level. Alright, here we go. Here's a quick look at the Space Invaders Code Sonic Invader that came with the um, Creative Vision and Dick Smith's. Uh, Creative Vision, as it was known here in Australia. Um, not a bad little game, probably good fun with your mates back in the day, and um, you know, having anything that could play Space Invaders back at home uh, then would have been fantastic. <coughs> Alright, um, I'm Alex Hugh Adventures, thanks to all my subscribers, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.